had the circuit. I just had to Oh for to the love of I had to break those computers to get it. Hello everyone, I'm Rahomas. Welcome back to Unmetal. With the modified radio, I could speak to Harris with no one listening. Now, I just had to bring it to him. And the noose? Later. Here you are, Colonel. A radio. I've modified it to encrypt the signal. Oh, good job, son. Do you have another one for you? Not yet. I'll call you through channel one as soon as I find another. Good luck, son. And Godspeed. I was about to go down that hole when I remembered that I still hadn't radioed the colonel. Oh, for the love of... Aha, uh -huh. give to me your secrets. With the radio encrypted, I could talk to Harris. I wouldn't have been able to escape without his help. I hate to admit it, but the grumpy old man gave some good advice. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found a rope to go down the sewer. And you're not down yet? What the hell are you waiting for? I'm on it, Colonel. Uh, Colonel. I couldn't see the bottom of that hole, but I anchored the rope and I went down. Stage complete. Secrets. I anchored the rope and went down into the pitch darkness. Finally, I touched ground. I was in a sewer composed of narrow passages. There were channels of rotten water and narrow sidewalks. And the typical pipes and waste everywhere. It smelled like shit. The putrid air was barely breathable. But once my lungs got used to that stench, ah. I started to investigate my surroundings. First off, I had to check the depth of the water. Ah, uh, severed arm! I dipped the severed arm in the water to calculate the depth. As soon as I did, it started shaking. When I pulled it back out, there was nothing but bones. I couldn't explain what I saw, but my instincts told me this water might be dangerous. Might? I'm not gonna lie. I had trouble getting where I needed to go. In fact, I had to build a floating platform to get through. Worse yet, everything down there was out for my blood. Sergeant Roscoe here. What? Escape? How? Through the sewers? Shit! No, don't send anyone. If he hides like a rat, he will die like a rat. Switch on the squeak. Squeak. Huh. Did I just hear a rat? Get out from your hole, you cowardly vermin! Look what the cat dragged in. The escaped prisoner. 
got some big balls coming here, rodent. All right. The situation was foobar. He was armed and hunkered down behind his desk. I was screwed. So what did you do? In five nanoseconds, I scrutinized the room and <clears> nanoseconds the really detail. There was a large globe in the middle of the room. I already had what I needed to take him down. Okay. Ow. Let's not try that. Shredders. That asshole Roscoe ordered to have them activated. Later they would be a pain in my ass, but they'd end up saving it too. Plastic drum. Yo, yo, yo. Hold on, Mr. Fox. What exactly did you say attacked you? What you just heard. Some sort of hybrid between piranha and human. A human piranha attacked you? I see. And in your opinion, could you elaborate how this hybrid could exist? That question kept gnawing at the back of my brain the entire day. I dwelled on it over and over again. And after seeing everything I saw on that base, their facilities, their experiments, their labs. I reached the only logical explanation. And what was that, Mr. Fox? Oh, no. A creepy scientist must have wanted to create it a child of his own. But realizing he accidentally used what? piranha DNA, he deemed the child a monster. He held it up. Looked deep into its no. eyes and flushed it down. No, the no cares for its feelings. Oh, Jesus! When the piranha ended up in the sewers, it started multiplying and shared its story of betrayal to all of its new piranha offspring, the same ones that attacked me. This has gone off the rails so fast. Son, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. I've been trying to contact you. There was no signal down in the sewers. Have you already escaped? Where are you now? Not much progress. I should still be near the prisons. Are you kidding me, Fox? You're still too damn close. You need to travel farther before coming topside. I know, but there are sewer channels blocking my way. Then build something to cross them, Fox. Find some materials. Where are you exactly? I think I'm in the office of some sort of officer. You should search for classified files about Operation Jericho. Take them with you. They're up to something. I don't know what. We must find out. Open. Fine. Ooh, files. Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found some documents. Operation Jericho. Looks like it talks about an attack plan. Attack against what, son? I have no idea. It's encoded. I'll keep searching for more documents, Colonel. Operation Jericho is a rumor only known by a few officers and, <clears throat> of course, the enemy. How did you find out about it, Mr. Fox? As I told you, Colonel Harris asked me to search for files about it. The deceased Colonel Harris? Yes. I had the feeling that this officer didn't believe anything I was saying. <laughs> it's understandable. I don't believe you either. Oh, really? Well, Miss Incredulous, why ask me to tell you the 
story. Well, I like the way you tell it. And since there are no theaters here. Great. So, what was Operation Jericho? Turns out that location was actually a clandestine base with a company codenamed X Army, commanded by someone named General X. They were planning a large scale attack against Allied posts. And that plan was. Don't be like that. Come on, tell me. The officer that was taking my statement was also curious about what I knew. And what exactly do you know about Operation Jericho, Mr. Fox? That it was a hell of an operation. Harris and I knew the details thanks to the files we found. Correction, I found. Again, how much did you exactly find out? Let me continue. You'll find out later. Card key. All right. Time to take on that Roscoe feller. It's gonna suck. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Damn it. As soon as he shot, I knew. I knew I was screwed. I need to stop being so aggressive. Yes, I know. Now is my chance. Let's get this party started. Oh, wow. You can dodge bullets by rolling. Gee, thank you. Truthfully, that might actually be helpful. Guard. Give me goodies. Ooh, another one. Morph. Yamaha.
You choose the heart. As I proceeded down the sewer sidewalk, I noticed a path nearby I couldn't reach. Why not? It was across the sewer water. What was the distance to the other side? The yard, more or less. Couldn't you just jump it? Since I was captured, I didn't jump a single time, and I wasn't going to start now. I realized I needed something to cross to the other side. Now I can open this door. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a r damn cat? Who's there? Another cat. <coughs> Another cat. Face it. Escaping prison. Uh, Send back up. Uh, oh wow! A whole bunch of them came. This way. Heading east, I ran into a hound. Uh, you didn't hurt it, did you? A puppy. That monster was the size of a horse. Even so, I wanted to see if it was friendly. Puppy, puppy, are you a good boy? Not a good boy. But that hound was trained to kill. Its bloody eyes looked at me like I was a well-done steak. Oh dear. Oh, oh no. Oh wow. Definitely not going that way then. Let's say Mike. To relief, Sam. It's Mike. Fuck, Mike, you scared me. I'm sorry. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Wait for it. Down you go. south I ran into a couple of trucks that was my big chance to escape but first I had to get rid of the guards face escaping prisoner Come on, come and get me. Once the guards were history, I examined the engine. Any secrets? Doesn't seem like any. a glance and my worst fears came true. It was an old diesel engine with no ad blue or particulate filter. What does that mean? Running away in that truck. Oh my god. Nitrogen oxides and liquid particles. And I wasn't willing to sacrifice the environment for a hasty retreat. So I armed myself with patience and I 
kept searching for another way to escape. Well, Jesse, I didn't know you were so eco-friendly. Well, it's nothing. That's it for you. Ooh, what's this? You've got goodies. Fine. Ooh, gasoline. More gasoline. Ah, uh, so much gasoline you can't even contain it all. Meat. Four plastic drums. Mr. Fox, I'm still waiting on an explanation for the news. <laughs> that damn news. Later, officer. I ran into nice. No, oh God, no, no, <laughs> bad doogie. I think real guard dogs are trained to ignore that kind of thing. Watch out. There's that guard looking here. You will see. Tell me when he's not looking. That bastard won't move. He's over here all the time. Fuck. Pictures of your mom naked in the bathtub. Want to buy them? Real cheap. You bastard! I'm done with his shit. Just go shoot that bastard. I'm already on my way. Nice. Thanks for the help. Thank you for knocking out that dick. By the way, name's Jesse Fox. I'm Mike. Hold on, don't tell me the prisoner was also named Mike. Uh, no. Hold on, it wasn't Mike. I'm Robert. Let's see if I can get you out of here, Robert. Thanks, Fox, but no. If you escape, they'll shoot you. And I'd rather be jailed than buried. You don't have a radio, do you? Hold on, I'll get one. Find encryption for it. Oh, I can just go around. Ooh, what's this? Wooden platform. I still have meat? I have two encrypted radio. Oh, right, I've got one for myself. Whoops. Hey, Robert. Did you get that radio? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks, Fox. I'll call you if I find out anything. If you want to talk, use channel two. 
Okay, now get out of here before the guards show up. Game saved. Dun 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 dun. Hey. Oh, I can go back to the sewers because I've got the platform. A doy. Gotta be something down here, though. Let's try the ship container. Useless stuff. Fine, be that way. I will move on. Oh, crap. I was so hungry that I almost bit into the raw steak. But I remembered that it's a crime to kill an animal for its meat. Are you vegetarian? No. Killing them is a crime. That's why I eat them when they're still alive. What? Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Hey, Robert, you don't look like a military man. Of course not. I'm a photographer. Hold on. You're not a paparazzi, are you? <laughs> That's right. A paparazzi. And one of the worst kind, too. Damn, Robert, you must have fucked up royally to end up locked in here. I've seen things I wasn't meant to, Fox. Okay, I go back in here, yes? Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, give me that beef jerky. I thought about using the pallet as a floating platform, but it would sink under my weight. I needed to attach something to make it float. Floating platform. Floating platform. I had what I needed to cross the sewer channels to freedom. Huzzah! Fox, the platform just vanished. What? Of course not. I picked it up every time I got to the other side. You didn't mention that. Sounded like it vanished. Well, I didn't feel like I had to mention something so obvious. Then should I write down that you picked up the platform every time you used it? Yes, of course. Well, Mr. Fox, please continue with your story. No, no, bad fishy. But oh, oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's try this. Ah! Mr. Fox, the noose. Later. Don't try my patience, Mr. Fox. Ah. Dingus, damn it. Woo, that was too close. Just wait. Now run, you fool. Mr. Fox, the noose.
me see here. No. <sighs> Well, we've run out of time for this episode, so I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.